What's going on YouTube? Double A here. here. <laughs> We're gonna react <laughs> to Ready Player One official trailer one. And uh, we reacted to the Comic Con trailer before, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, and that was um, really good. I, I couldn't stop watching that trailer, the music, the way he just puts on the, the thing, the VR goggles, whatever they are. And I started looking into this and I just found out um, all the stuff about the story and everything in the book. And this really cool story, it feels like a dream, like, you know when you just have these weird, crazy dreams? Yeah. You're like, man, I need to make that dream into a film. <laughs> but have you ever had some of, one of those dreams where you, you know it did feel in, insanely real and you yeah. wake up and you're just like, this so is actually my life if yeah. I want to go back to sleep yeah I know oh, that's man. what this film is yeah that's what it feels like to yeah. me man it's just like, and it's got so many easter eggs and so much stuff from other yeah. video games and films and comics and cartoons yeah. like, and I the book has it too and it's all mostly stuff from the 80s yeah. though, the book version yeah, but yeah this is like a more modernised really cool. one I guess but yeah um, I need, I'm definitely going to read the book but anyway let's watch Ikuzo! This is spotting Easter eggs. My name's Wade Watts. My dad picked that name because it sounded like a superhero's alter ego. Like Peter Parker or Bruce Banner. But he died when I was a kid. My mom too. And I ended up here. Stacks. Sitting here in my tiny corner of nowhere. What's on top of the washing machine? There's nowhere left to go. Nowhere. I still love this shot, man. Except the Oasis. The Oasis. This is his life, like... Right? This, this is like... A whole virtual universe. People come to the Oasis for all the things oh, they can do. The Avatar. Some reason I thought you looked the same in that. Because of all the things they can be. Can you feel this? I love how they made it like CGI in there, so you can just. Mm. That's really clever. It's like I need anything. It's a bit true. The Oasis was the brain. Oh, really good graphics. Hello, if you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control half of the dollars. Oasis itself. <laughs> I love her. Who is this? Kira Bike. How the hell is he winning? Who is that? Find him. That's Kyra. This is just a game. I'm talking about actual life and death stuff. The Oasis. The world's most important economic resource. The music sounds like this. Nothing less than a war. We're in control of the future. That's a good experience. Is that real life or a game? It's a rebellion. Oh, it's that's real life. Yeah. I'm trying to find it. Like many of you, I only came here to escape. But I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Right. Help us save the Oasis. Oh, <laughs> That's so cool. So it seems like... In this film, they, okay, the concept I'm getting is that basically he goes in this game, everyone goes in this game just to escape the real world, the real world looks dull and boring, and then this guy comes out and says... The creator of the game. Yeah, he's like... Find an Easter egg. And get trillions. And you can get half a trillion. And suddenly and the game gets real. Take, yeah, <laughs> basically, you can have the whole Oasis thing. So if that happened in real life, so many people that don't like games will suddenly get yeah. into this shit. So that's why. So the main film. guy is like really sick at the game. I'm guessing they don't expect they don't expect people to find the Easter egg. He's like really close to it, and yeah. they will actually want to kill him. It looks like. Well, I know he has to find these keys or something. That those three keys lead to the Easter egg. That's because I haven't read some bits about the book and stuff. Yeah. But I'm definitely, definitely going to check out the audio book or something. Like read the book. I think I need to. to. Okay. I'm really. Uh, you know, you were asking me the other day, like, is it going to ruin the film? Possibly, because books usually do ruin the they film. Do. But I don't know, man. This one is Steven Spielberg, and it looks like it's sort of not taken its own way. It's changed some bits. Yeah, yeah. But the book's not that long anyway, so it probably, uh, you know, it'll have majority of it. Have some of it in there. So. That film is 
mad. Like, I feel like I'm going to get way too lost in that film. Mm. Well, I think I, I enjoyed the Comic Con trailer better because the music, that slowed down Charlie and the Chocolate Factory music and the scene with DeLorean and the, the music was just sick in the last trailer. This music was a bit more like... Ding, ding, no, ding. 80s, like, yeah, I like I like the 80s, 80s gaming music, but the first trailer was just epic, man. Yeah, man. I think the music really got me. Got you like, yeah, but they're definitely gonna check this out as soon as it comes out. Usually man. in the in the I'm just thinking about the concept of the film, but usually in this kind of film, they have to get rid of the oasis because they realise that it's the, but you know they might it's like the worst thing. Yeah. But I feel like they actually want to save it, like they actually yeah. want to keep it. Usually they say, oh, these games are bad for you, make yeah, sure you yeah, not yeah. like, interact with people in real life and stuff like that. But yeah, it looks like the game's yeah, a good sure. thing. Like, it's actually good. But I feel like that's weird. You see his real life, he's like, it's dull and boring. He's like, why do I live in this world? Mm. But it looks, I can see the film ending, like, where they're more in real life towards the end. Cause he, I don't so, think so. I think so. the girl that he fancies, see the girl that was saying, a welcome to something. You remember mm. she had like reddish hair? I think that's a girl that he fancies in the game that's riding the on a bike. I think that's got to be her real life version of her. Yeah, yeah so, so it looks like it's going to end with a big real life kind of fight maybe instead of a video game one. Yeah. And that's when you can see he's actually not good at fighting, but he's good at fighting <laughs> in the game. Oh, it's going to be some typical thing like that, isn't it? That's so cliche. <laughs> well, I think you guys are going to enjoy it way more because you guys are gamers. Like, yeah. It's going to be like insane. But it's, still, it's attracting you to it. It's yeah, yeah, I know, but I mean, like, concept, when you see yeah. the games, like, or like, the, I don't know, the Easter eggs, like, you're going to get work. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, look, I'm looking for all the Easter eggs. That's, <laughs> it's funny, the full film is about him finding find Easter yeah, eggs. Yeah, I know, right? And you're going to be in the audience yeah, watching the film before. looking for I Easter eggs. I guess that's I love that concept, it's really good. Um, that's our reaction of Ready Player One, the official trailer one. If you liked it, <coughs> like, subscribe, and we'll see you again. Peace.